how did you feel like because you would have had a lot of expectation as well because LA is like mm. the city of dreams like for a filmmaker yeah. that's a lot of pressure to put yourself somewhere like that and just like almost like force like something has to come out of this it, I mean but it is it's so much pressure like and everyone would have been messaging you before that like go after your dreams and it's like did I do it I was in Los Angeles, guess how many videos I filmed? One. I felt so under pressure to the point where it actually stopped me from being able to make stuff. If you were 99 years old and on your deathbed and you had a chance to come back to today, what would you do right now? Welcome to Yes Theory. My name is Thomas and this is Matt, Amar and Darren. We grew up in four corners of the world, but in the summer of 2015, we all met by total coincidence and bonded over a shared desire to do something different with our lives. We didn't have much to start with. A camera, a couch in a one bedroom apartment in Montreal, Canada, and the simple realization that the times we leave our comfort zones are the times we grow the most. We've now got a new home base for our adventures in Venice Beach, California. Every week we seek new experiences to say yes to and find the people that share our philosophy. So I first discovered Yes Theory in 2018 when I was going through a little bit of a rough point um, at that time in my life. And I remember I kept seeing their videos sort of pop up. I would always see the little blue logo in like the bottom left of all the thumbnails. And eventually it got to a point where I was like, all right, I'm gonna see what they're all about. There was one particular moment I remember where I saw this video where they threw a dart at the map and traveled to wherever it landed. And I remember for the first time thinking, that's it. That's what I wanna do. Day five, Benito, ocean, conquered. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are we doing today, Lulu? Yes Theory are the reason I got to fulfill one of my childhood dreams of traveling the world doing content creation. And, you know, they also inspire the U effect. They're the reason why I'm making YouTube videos the way I'm making them now. The thing is, my biggest blockage that I've always had with content creation is consistency. I've always struggled to be disciplined with making videos because I just get so hyper fixated on making it the best thing it can be. And time and time again, I keep facing the same lesson of not being disciplined with consistency and trying to be a perfectionist. And then I end up not creating on a basis that would actually help me achieve that dream of mine. It's taken a lot of guts for me to get to where I am today with this YouTube channel just because it's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. One of my goals for 2020 is post as consistent as I can on this channel. I made it my mission to do a video every week. Coronavirus infections across the country. I really just for so long have been meaning to really dedicate myself to YouTube, but it would always be on and, and you guys probably know this has been on and off and on and off constantly. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This thing hasn't seen the light of day in a pretty long time, but I'm back and I'm back weekly now. I'm just so excited to finally be back into YouTube, but to be doing it consistently because this has been something I've always wanted to do since starting the channel. It's just really hard when you want to make this dream become a reality, but you just feel like you got this thing that's constantly tugging on you and stopping you from making that dream come true. You know, I felt all this pressure to make 
lots of videos, as much videos as I can in the States, to the point where it actually stopped me from making anything. I remember the day Lyndall flew into LA and she booked the cheapest hostel as close as possible to LAX airport and it so happened to be in Venice. I realized that the Yes Theory headquarters is actually in Venice. And it sort of reminded me of like the philosophy and values of Yes Theory being seek discomfort. It sort of made me realize that my biggest discomfort is actually creating without a plan. And that's sort of what started this idea. What if I walk to Yes Theory headquarters and see what happens. Okay, so Lyndall and I are currently walking in Venice. We're walking towards Yes Theory HQ. Um, not gonna lie, I am nervous out of my mind. I don't know why. Normally, I, I, and I've thought about this before, like meeting celebrities or just like people I look up to has never really been something that would make me anxious. But for some reason, Yes Theory is a lot different because these guys literally changed my life. Like their videos, were the catalyst to everything I'm doing now and the direction I'm taking things and so the fact that we're even like walking to their place is like definitely stirring some like things inside of me. So like this is super out of my comfort zone because you know me, I like to like plan stuff before I do it. I think I need to sort of have an idea on what I'm doing. Yeah, it's really out of my comfort zone to just like lean into something and leap into something without even knowing where it's gonna be. All right, how are you feeling, Luke? So we're currently 10 minutes away from the YesFam HQ. And I'm not gonna lie, I am super, super, super nervous at the moment. Um, it's sort of starting to kick in. I don't know what's gonna even happen. I don't even know why I'm deciding to like go to this place, like this house. I don't know how it's going to contribute to the video, but I just, I've been feeling a calling to go because of how much that place has like impacted my life and the time that I've gotten to know Yes Theory, but you know, the, the amount of times I've like stunted my growth and like making videos because I didn't have a plan or an idea is way too much. And yeah, I really want to just throw myself into things more, so let's go, 10 minutes away. Let's go! so uncomfortable. Oh, I can feel myself getting emotional. <laughs> Better now than when I'm like there. God. I'm so pathetic. They literally changed my whole life. Like, I was in a really not so great place in 2020, or even 2018 when I like found out about them like I like just came out of a breakup and then you know because I found their videos it reminded me like what makes life beautiful and it's those like moments out of your comfort zone I just wanted to come by with no other intention rather than to just say thank you. Um, my friend and I are traveling from Australia and um, you guys changed my life and um, we were in the area and I just felt the call to just come by and say thank you. Um, when I discovered you guys in 2018, I was at a really rough point in my life where I just came out of a breakup um, and you guys 
opened a new world for me that I didn't think was possible. And in 2020, during the pandemic, I was in a really rough spot. I was suffering from really bad anxiety and like mild depression. And it was the YesFam community that picked me out of that and just completely transformed everything. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, if there's anything I learned through doing this, it's that perfectionism is the biggest stunt to growth. I can't even begin to think about all the opportunities I've probably missed out on simply because I tried to be a perfectionist or I tried to have a plan before actually doing anything. I got to say thank you to the very people that helped me get to where I am now and to be living the life that I am now where I was able to travel to America where I was like the literal reason I was in America was because of Yes Theory and you know if I didn't decide to just let go of that perfectionism and just take myself there then I wouldn't have been able to have that experience and that's because I released the pressure of needing to create something in particular and I think what that made me realize is that there is so much power in just simply doing. Scrap papa papa. I've met Yes Theory House now, so now I'm a new man.